Chiefs Kingdom, we finally made it. Football is back. Week one is upon us. Just a few days away from game day. So predict the score. Chiefs at Cardinals. Not the easiest opener in the world, but I do think the Chiefs get it done. Get those score predictions in because coming up on today's show, full week one preview. Welcome into the Chiefs Report. I am Harrison Graham. On today's show, we're going to break down the entire week one matchup for the Kansas City Chiefs as they hit the road to take on the Arizona Cardinals. Here's your matchup for week one. Chiefs coming off a 12-5 and campaign and a trip to the AFC Championship game. Arizona 11-6. and I believe they started 7-0, and and then they stumbled down the stretch, lost in the first round of the playoffs. Uh, but... If history repeats itself, Kyler Murray is usually really good early in the year. Uh, and uh, you're catching them very early in week one. Kickoff set at 425 Eastern, 325 Central time. Chiefs are four and a half point favorites. The over-under set at 53 and a half. So the folks at BetUS thinking a high scoring game here in Glendale, Arizona, when the Chiefs hit the road to take on the Cardinals this weekend. So that's kind of your, you know, you know, overarching outlook. I'm going to take a look at some keys to victory in a second, but can we just savor the moment? We made it. You never think you're going to make it every year, but you always do. We made it to football season. It's back. Chiefs football is back. Here's the deal, too. For certain teams, when preseason hits, football is back. Like, bad teams with hope. You're like, oh, yes, preseason. For the Chiefs, it's like, ah, eh, preseason, whatever. But we made it. Week one is here. Let's go. Football is back. Let's get it. Four keys to victory coming up here on the Chiefs Report. All right. Uh, key number one, don't let Kyler loose. Um, if you're this Chiefs defensive line, you got to keep this quarterback in the pocket as often as possible. So Frank Clark, George Karloftis, Carlos Dunlap, Chris Jones, you can rush, and I expect the Chiefs to dial up some different pressures from time to time, but you got to rush with discipline. Sure, Kyler Murray can win from the pocket. He just got paid $230 million. He's really, really good, but he's even more dangerous when he's escaping, throwing on the run, take it off for a 20-yard scramble. Don't let him do that. At least try not to. Rush with discipline. Lane discipline is key here. Uh, keep him in that pocket. If he's, you know, uh, carving you up from the pocket, you'll live with that, but what you can't live with is if he continuously escapes, makes those on the run, because that's where he really hurts you. So I think this is the biggest key to the game. Force Kyler Murray to win for the pocket. I think you're going to be in good shape. All right, number two for the Chiefs offense, spread the ball around. And I think we're going to see a lot of this this year. Um, I think a, the, a benefit, I'm not going to say it's an overall net positive, but a benefit of losing Tyreek Hill is other teams outside of Travis Kelsey don't really have anyone to key in on. You know, Juju Smith-Schuster, Marquez Valdez-Scantling, Sky Moore, McCole Hardman, Justin Watson. Like, you can spread the ball around if you're Kansas City, and I think you should do that. Show them different looks. Get different guys involved. Keep that defense on uh, its heels because I, for one, expect Arizona and, quite frankly, teams early on, at least in the season, to key in on Kelsey, try and take him away. Not saying they'll be able to. Kelsey's still going to get his. But if you're Patrick Mahomes, you're going to have to get the, guy, uh, the, the ball to other guys. And with Tyreek Hill not there, I don't think there's one guy uh, you focus in on offensively. I think Juju sh should get some looks. I think Hardman should get some touches. I'd like to see Sky Moore have a catch or two here in week one. Spread it around. Get the backs involved as well. That way, these defenses, they don't know where you're going, and that's a very, very good thing. Now, who will have – the most catches against the Cardinals if it's not Travis Kelsey? Like, do you think Juju will have the most catches? Sky Moore, what do you think? Who is going to lead the Chiefs in catches not named Travis Kelsey? Predict it for us down in the comments section. Now, if you want to go bet on some over-unders for this game, you know, over three and a half catches for this guy, over three touchdowns for Patrick Mahomes, whatever the case may be, you can do it with BetUS. Now, they put prop bets up later in the week for each matchup, so if they're not up yet, go ahead and create your account and then check later in the week, chatsports.com slash Chiefs bet, promo code Chiefs125 to get 125% to Positive bonus. I love over-unders. Now, what you can bet on already is the betting odds themselves for this game. Chiefs, four-and-a-half-point favorites on the road. It was three-and-a-half. It's been raised to four-and-a-half. Over-under set at 53-and-a-half. High-scoring affair is what the folks at BetUS think is happening here. I think I like the under, actually. I do like the Chiefs to cover. I loved it at three-and-a-half. I still like it at four-and-a-half. I think this, they win this game by a touchdown. Chatsports.com slash Chiefs bet. Promo code Chiefs125 to get 125% deposit bonus. All right, key number three, 
let Mahomes cook. Two and three kind of line up here. Just let him play his game. Um, you'll have your opening script for the first drive, but beyond that, Patrick Mahomes in the preseason didn't look like a guy who was missing Tyree Kill. 18 to 26, 222 yards, three touchdowns, and what was it, five, six drives, whatever it was. He did not play that much, and he absolutely cooked in the two preseason games that he played in. Didn't play in that third one, of course. Um, I think this passing attack could be unstoppable. It looked unstoppable in the preseason. Uh, they're going to spread it around, let Mahomes do his thing. Sure, run the football some, but um, the, the passing game can be an extension of the running game. We know that in this offense, and I expect that to be the case here. Uh, drop back 40 times, no problem. Let Mahomes do his thing, go for 350, 400 yards, three touchdowns, and let's get out of Arizona with a win. Who's going to have the better game here in week one? Type PM for Patrick Mahomes, type KM for Kyler Murray. Typically, whichever quarterback plays better ends up winning. Not always. Uh, it does depend, but uh, if Mahomes balls out, I think uh, the Cardinals are going to have a tough time keeping up. PM for Patrick Mahomes, KM for Kyler Murray. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel because we're bringing you guys videos every day leading up to kickoff on Sunday. Day. Plus, we haven't finalized our game day plan for week one. I think we're going to do maybe a second half watch party. we got a lot of watch parties going on here at Chat Sports Studios being taken up. So we may not be able to do the full game, but I think we're going to go live for the second half. So stay tuned. YouTube.com slash Chief TV. We'll keep you guys in the loop on what the plan is there. But either way, we'll bring in new videos every day. We'll have a post-game show after Sunday's game. So lock in. Stay tuned. We'll have you covered. All right. Uh, final takeaway. Then we'll give some final overall thoughts. Um or final key to victory, I should say, get two takeaways, the other word I used. Um, when you're on the road, if you can get more than one takeaway, that bodes really well. Turnovers typically win road games. Um, if you can take the football away uh, more than once, uh, you're going to be living pretty. Uh, decent chance the Cardinals will get at least one, so if you can get two, win that turnover battle, you're going to be in a good position uh, to win this game. Now, Kyler Murray is a great quarterback, but he can get frustrated, and if he does, he'll give you some chances. That's why early on, Got to be disciplined with your rush and make him a little bit uncomfortable. Make him try to carve you up in the pocket, and uh, he might force a couple. And if he does, you got to take advantage, pick some passes off, get a strip sack, whatever it is. Uh, that would go a long way because, again, uh, turnover margin, red zone, third down efficiency, you know, these, these – uh, you know, nerdy statistics that people talk about. Uh, they're what win games, really. I mean, the key downs are important. The turnover margin is important. Uh, Got to win in all of those areas. All right, there you go. Four keys to victory for the Chiefs to start 1-0 on the season for 2022. Should be a fun one out in Arizona, 425 Eastern kickoff time, like I said. I think we'll be live for the second half. Stay tuned, though. We'll have to wait and see. All right, that's going to do it for today's Chiefs report. Appreciate everybody for tuning in. If you have any Chiefs questions, hit me up on social media. It's at HGramNFL, both on Instagram and Twitter. Same handle, different platforms, at HGramNFL. We'll see you next time.